Hello my lovely crafters, this is Crafty Sue 519 Welcome to my channel and welcome to Tea Tuesday. Now, let's get started with what kind of tea I'm going to drink today. I believe I got this from Janet Kay and it's Tazo Vanilla Bean Macaron. So let's see what this is going to taste like. I love vanilla. I have a Vanilla, iced vanilla latte every Wednesday morning at Starbucks. It's our little routine. Every Wednesday we go to Starbucks, get a coffee, go for a little drive or to the store or something just to get out for a little bit. Of course, I have my little almond mac uh, biscotti there. Alrighty, let that seep for a little bit and we'll give it a try. So I was really struggling on what story to tell you today. I have lots of things that have happened in my lifetime because I'm old, got a lot of time, and wondered what was appropriate, what was not appropriate. Never want to offend anybody. Um, but... This story that's been in the news so much with Gabby Petito and her boyfriend, Brian Laundry has really worked on me quite a bit. And when they said that they found her body in Grand Teton National Park, that really got me because my favorite vacation ever was to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Grand Teton National Park in Yellowstone. Oh my gosh, I love that trip so much. So when they talked about Gabby in that area, it brought back all my memories of our vacation out that way. So I guess I'll just tell you a little bit about that. Because as beautiful as it all was, there's still something funny. So, we flew from San Francisco to Denver, rented a car, and decided to drive up to Wyoming to Yellowstone. That was our main goal. We had rented a room in the Yellowstone Lodge. Not sure that's what it's called, but it's where Old Faithful Geyser is. Big, big, huge, old, old, building. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And for any of you who haven't been to Yellowstone or that area of Wyoming, oh my gosh, put it on your list. You need to go. It is spectacular. But I am a mountain girl. I love the mountains. I will take the mountains over the beach any day of the week. Any day of the week. I just love it. I always wanted to live in Vermont, never got that chance. So anyhow, so we drove from Denver to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't realize how big a state is. I'm from Rhode Island. It takes you less than an hour to drive the whole length of the state. <laughs> to be in a state that took, I forget, it was eight to 10 hours hours we drove from Denver to Jackson Hole to our hotel there before we went on to Yellowstone. But that was right where the Grand Tetons are and it's a beautiful, beautiful area. Jackson Hole is my favorite city in the whole U.S. I just loved it. Absolutely loved it. Anyhow, we spent the night in Jackson Hole and then drove through the Tetons into Yellowstone got our room, got all settled in, and drove around and saw all the spectacular sights of Yellowstone. Oh, wildlife like you would not believe. We went the first week of October, so a lot of things were closed down because it was getting quite cold up there. And so we couldn't do a lot of the events that they offer when you go to Yellowstone on vacation. They weren't doing them any longer. But we got to drive around the whole park 
and stop and walk around and look at the different things, the paint pots. Oh my gosh, bubbling mud in pastel colors. Who would think? They would beautiful pink and greens and blues and yellows and it it's mud from the volcano underneath. Oh, wow, it just blew me away. And the wildlife, oh my gosh. We saw coyotes, we saw bears, we saw deer, we saw elk, we saw mountain sheep. Oh gosh, I can't even think of everything. Buffalo, oh my gosh, how could I forget the buffalo? They were everywhere. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy. I think one of my favorite visuals was we were driving down the road one day and they have this beautiful river that goes through the park and there was a man standing in the middle of the river fly fishing and it looked like a a picture it was just so perfect and so beautiful uh, I, I could go on and on and on forever about Yellowstone it just is spectacular let's chuck my tea here Give it just a little more time. So, it was October, as I said, and that is elk rutting season. See, all the elk were coming down out of the mountains to find a girlfriend. Oh my gosh, and they were everywhere. And they didn't care if there were people around. They were just blazing in there. <laughs> in their actions Whew. and they are huge they are one big animal we walked out of our room run one morning and outside right into a whole ton of elk they were right outside our door there must have been 25 of them there we bolted we turned and walked away very very quickly so we enjoyed our walks and and everything in Yellowstone and the only animal I hadn't seen that I really really wanted to see was a moose I hadn't seen a moose yet so I asked one of the rangers you know when's the best time to see a moose I want to see a moose and he said at dusk if you go at dusk they'll they'll be out there he says and you'll catch a glimpse of one so being the nature lover I am, I'm gonna get this ready here so I can take a sip. I said to Grumpy, let's get in the car and go for a ride. And he didn't wanna go out, it's nighttime. It's, it might be dusk, but it was dark. There are no lights out there except for stars, billions and billions of stars. Mm, this is good. Yummy, yummy. So the skies at night are just spectacular. And we got in the car and we drove down the road and we didn't have to go too far. And I saw cars parked along the side of the street. And I said to Grumpy, pull over, pull over. And he says, why? I said, this car's there. There's got to be something around. Why else would they park out here? So he did, he parked behind the other cars and we got out and couldn't see where the people were, but we crossed the road and went up this little bit of a banking and kind of on the edge of the woods there and looking around, trying to find my moose. And all of a sudden we heard this noise. It was kind of a woof, woof. And I said, what the heck is that? Before I knew it, Grumpy was gone, gone. He ran back to the car <laughs> and left me out there all by myself. So I'm standing there, still convinced to see a moose, and I hear it again. That woof, woof. And I said, uh-oh, something is really close to me. And I turned to my right, and I swear not three feet away, was this huge elk. And I think I was not making him very happy being there. 
So I just, I really wanted to touch him. I wanted to reach out and touch him so badly, but I didn't. And I turned and went back to the car, grumpy sitting there. <laughs> a wimp when it comes to wildlife. Oh gosh, and I'm the opposite. I'll walk up to a mall. Doesn't bother me in the least. And went back to the hotel. Never got to see my moose. That's the one animal I did not see on that trip. But one of the best things was, excuse me, have a sip. One of the things I loved were the prairie dogs. Oh my gosh, they are incredible. They are so cute and they're just everywhere and they pop out of their little holes and they chirp and somebody else will pop out of a hole and chirp back and they're just blabbing away to one another. And one thing I discovered very quickly is that they're not that afraid of humans. And I had a couple crackers with me and stood there and those Little prairie dogs came right over and sat on my feet. Yep, right on my feet and waited for me to give them a piece of the cracker. I couldn't believe it. They were not aggressive. They were as calm as could be, just waiting for their little piece of cracker. Oh my gosh, I had prairie dogs on my feet. I have pictures of that someplace. Oh gosh, but I love that area. I, oh. Wyoming, Montana, South Dakota. Oh my gosh. It was a long trip. I think it was a two-week trip we had taken. And we drove and drove and drove. We drove out of Yellowstone, went through Montana, saw Devil's Tower. That's the the mountain in the movie um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. They still have a gift shop before you enter that park. <laughs> All about Close Encounters of the Third Time. That was third kind. That was funny. And we went to Mount Rushmore and we went to the Crazy Horse exhibit and drove through the Black Hills and stopped at every Black Hills gold jewelry store along the way. Oh, my best trip ever. Absolutely loved it. Loved it. Would go back in a flash. Would go back in a flash. Loved it. So what was your favorite trip you've ever done? I don't have to go out to some Europe and although Egypt was always been at the top of my list to visit, I would not go there now because of all of the issues, but always was fascinated with the pyramids and the history of that country. And um, it's kind of sad that I'll never get there, but that's okay. That's okay. I had Yellowstone and the Tetons and Jackson Hole spectacular. There is nothing prettier in this world than our own country. So, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. I'll be back on Thursday to pick the winner to my giveaway. And, ooh, I'm surprised. Not that many have figured it out yet. So, it's going to be fun to see who has and who my winner will be. So talk to you on Thursday, and as always, love yous. Bye.